Uh, in terms of how do you do it, um, I mean, there, there's that's that's an, that's an old that's an old wide open window because there's just so many different uh, windows, uh, so many different drills, or so many different uh, uh, ways of doing so. Um, I'll I'll just take um uh, you know throwing. I just take throwing, right? Um, you know, I, I think what we also coaches you know misunderstood is that well. If I, you know, if I don't need to throw or kick in a sport of basketball, do I need to learn those those movement skills? Uh, the answer is absolutely yes. You know, I think kids need to have those skills, uh, even within our Canada basketball programming for, for basketball uh, with our Steve National Basketball Program. We, you know, try to incorporate drills that that plays different sports as well. Uh, and, and 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 you know, I, so I keep touching on the fact that every athlete should build. Uh, different movement skills through playing multi sports, uh, and I think that's a very, very big message uh, for young coaches. Is not just focus and specialize on one sport and allow kids to try different sports as much as possible. Um, so, sorry, I just kind of went off a different tangent, but uh, to to give you an example, so um, you know, throwing, um, you know, at at an early age when you looking at a, an athlete, probably a young child, maybe around four years old. You know, they throw very rigid, you know, they're very body, little body movements. They are, you know, standing very stagnant, with very little foot placement. Um, and they are just basically have their arms close to the body and just, you know, tossing, you know, a beanbag of ball. And what will most likely happen is they'll throw it straight to the ground. Uh, so you, you look at an athlete like that and you basically just have to focus on, hey, let's, you know, just work on, uh, you know, throwing into a bucket. Uh, and just have them work on developing that focus, uh, work on developing that, that coordination skills. Um, then from there, um, as they progress a little bit older, now you can add uh, something a little bit more challenging. Uh, for example, you can now have them work with a partner and basically, um, you know, just work on uh, using a bigger size ball, maybe a Nerf ball or, you know, something that it's easy for them to sort of go back and forth with uh, to just work on that skills and have them to learn that basic skills of, you know, throwing and receiving at the same time. Uh, again, it's work on that coordination and all of that. And then as they progress, now you're working with an athlete with, you know, a, a tennis ball, something like that, which is a little bit smaller. Now they have to really focus on, you know, identifying the target, uh, having that hand-eye coordination, um, absorbing the force of, of, of the catch. All of those things are what, you know, we, we, we use to in terms of helping an athlete to develop movement skills. Uh, and it's a progression. You know, we don't try to make uh, a, a, a four or five year old athlete try to throw like, you know, a, a Toronto Blue Jays player uh, in a major league baseball. Uh, you know, they're not trying to, you know, do the whole wind up with the leg up and trying to pitch, you know, a, a 90, miles, 90 miles an hour fastball or anything like that. Uh, it's really understanding where your athlete stages and ensuring that they are learning age and stage appropriately so that they can, you know, get the most success out of it.